Hey you guys, it's me Kiana coming at you today and I am coming at you um, with the video that I had promised. Um, I actually was talking about this before I even left. Um, to be honest, we've been talking about this on and off for probably about a year. Um, and I did a video letting you guys know that I had made a decision to um, go ahead and become a self-pay gastric um, surgery patient. Well, I didn't really get into too many details and I'm going to get in, into details now um, within limits. Um, that's not because I'm not willing to share, but um, I think that it's timing, perfect timing for everything. And um, I have my own reasons um, and you guys will, will be aware of a lot. Um, in fact, one of the reasons why I actually purchased all of those camcorders was because I am actually documenting my experience. So my big hus 52 family, the ones that has been there through it all. You've been through my entire journey for the past two years on YouTube and um, you've done so with love, encouragement, inspiration, and support. And I want you guys to be there with me because this is going to become part of my journey, not only through this channel, but also through life in general. And I want you guys to be a witness of it. Um, I believe that God blesses us not only to be a blessing to others, but also to birth testimony. Um, and it would be quite a shame if I did not continue to live my life as a testimony to how good God is, to how he can not only restore you, but he can bring you through the fire and you don't even have a scar. He can actually take you over the mountain. And if he doesn't move the mountain, he sure knows how to teach you how to climb it. And I will continue to show his mercy and his grace, not just through my words, but also through my actions. So I am going to take you guys with me on this. Um, gastric surgery. Okay. Um, people that have been riding with me for a minute. And whenever I'm trying to quote something that I said a long time ago, for my own purposes and also per for other purposes, I like to link the videos below. Uh, referencing what I'm actually saying or what I've said a long time ago. Um, so I may link some videos below um, and you can check those out. Sometimes I get a kick out of looking at my old videos as well. Um, but I've been toying with the idea for a very long time. Um, I knew my insurance was not going to pay for it um, a whole year and a half ago because I've been on YouTube now two years as of August 14th. Um, but even when I first started doing YouTube, um, I always toyed with the idea. I always threw out there that if it was available to me, I would have it. Um, I've always said that. I've never downed anyone having surgery. I've never looked at anybody having surgery as a shortcut or a way out, like some people may proclaim it is, or some people may say it is. That's because they don't know the struggle. That's because they are just judging someone else's life and someone else's decision. So let's be honest, who likes that? Um, who, who wants to be um, judged for things that they find is necessary in their life? Um, we all ask for respect. We all ask for understanding. And we all want some kind or some shape of um, acceptance. Um, and being a YouTube person or a vlogger, whatever you want to call it, I'd ask for the same. Um, I make decisions based on um, personal things. I always discuss it with my family, with my husband. Um, I always pray on it. Um, I meditate on it. Um, I research. People that know me know I research like crazy. That's sometimes why I sometimes get a little offended when people um, tell you what you should do, what you shouldn't do, what you should say, what you should um, entertain, 
Um, I get a little offended by that because it, it actually is very insulting in a sense, especially if you've grown to know me from my videos and grown to know that I research things thoroughly, um, somewhat uh, compulsive about it. Um, so when I make a decision, it is the best decision that I came to for me and for my lifestyle and for my family. Um, what you choose to do is is great. It's what you choose. And by all means, if it's something that you are adamant enough to go out on a limb and actually confront me and tell me about it, then I actually suggest that you do the same. Um, and that's just my take on it. Um, you often get people that are overweight telling you not to have surgery when they're still walking around overweight themselves. Um, they're still walking around 30, 40, 50, and more overweight. And they'll tell you not to embark on this diet or not to embark on this weight loss journey or not to embark on having this surgery. And they're still one month, two months, six months, or a year later after telling you that still overweight themselves. So it's like at a certain point you're looking like, did you even take your own advice? Did you, since you're such a, you know, expert at this, or since you're so informative about this, did you even research for yourself? So <laughs> that's just how I be thinking and how I look at it. So, um, but I just don't express it because it's no need to. Um, I certainly express it with daddy and we sit back and laugh about it at times, but whatever. But um, yeah, so I decided to have the surgery. Um, after toying with the idea, as I stated before, I decided to go through with it um, for several different reasons. For one, um, being overweight all of my life, I need a tool. And that's exactly what it is. It's not going to be sapped in K Captain Save Kiana. It's not going to be that type of, um, and it's not that type of um, situation. Um, but what it will do is it will help me with something that I have battled all of my life. And who doesn't need help? Who doesn't need a tool? Um, you know, you don't go to, you know, a gunfight with a knife. You, you go prepared and you go armed and ready. And um, at times when I've embarked on weight loss journeys and and diets and all of these things even when I you know didn't discuss it with you guys and I was embarking on trying to increase exercise or trying to eat healthier or or all of those things I still had a battle because this is something that is hard for me and um, it's quite obvious it's hard for me um, and the thing is, is that my battle may not be your battle. Um, you may battle something else. As for me, I battle my weight. Um, and I just need help. Simple as that. Um, so I decided to have the surgery. Uh, one of the reasons I... was hesitant about having the surgery before is because I knew my insurance was not going to pay for it and because I know how expensive it is. So, I was blessed. Not only did I research and research and research, not only did I talk about it thoroughly with Daddy and also my Heavenly Father, but um, I came to the conclusion of having the surgery and being able to afford it. Now, having the surgery can cost you about $18,000 if you pay cash for it. Yes, I repeat, having the surgery can cost you $18,000. Yeah. So, being that even though I'm a business owner and I own several businesses, I've never proclaimed to be rich. I've never proclaimed to be able to cut a check for $18,000. I'm not her. 
I can't do that. Um, can I save to do that? Yes, but it would take me a while to do. A good while to do. Let's keep it real. Um, and to be honest, for me, I'm not talking about anybody else. I'm talking about for me. For me, I would feel quite selfish, even though I know it's not selfish trying to get yourself better. I know I can hear you through the screen. You know, I have to take care of me in order to take care of others. I would feel, and I can only speak about me, I would feel some sort of way if I spent $18,000 knowing that I could be spending that on my children, knowing that I can be spending that on, you know, um, maybe college funds for my children. Um, that's just my personality. That's just how I am. Um, I'm always a giver. I would look at, you know, that I could spend that 18000 on, you know, doing something extra special for my husband or doing something extra special for my mom as she's aging and be able to maybe take her on a, a trip that she will always remember the rest of her life or something like that. That's just me. Now, I know, again, some would say, you know, well, that 18000 will save your life and that 18000 um, invest in that in yourself will help you care for the other people more. But I'm not the only woman and mother out there that, even though we know that, we don't live like that. Um, even though we know that, we still always put others before ourselves. Um, so I think that's one of the reasons why God blessed me with the opportunity that I'm about to discuss with you guys now. Um... I know there are going to be a lot of naysayers. I know there are going to be a lot of digs thrown. I know there's going to be a lot of rude comments. I know there's going to be a lot. It probably will even be some videos floating out there. But I can't focus on that. I'll let God take care of that. Like he's always taken care of. And I'll continue to move forward. And that's what you guys see on my channel. Um... But know that I've researched it thoroughly. Um, location, doctor, all of those things. And I'm making the best decision for me and my family. You make the best decision for you and yours. Now, I've shared this months ago with several of my closest YouTube sisters. Um, Butterfly Kisses, uh germ um dre uh drea uh it's a lot of people on here a couple of people i've already you guys already knew about this months ago but the rest of you are just learning this so i was presented with the opportunity to have the surgery like all of you can have at a discount you don't have to pay $18,000. Yes, it is out of our element. It is out of our room. But you can get the surgery if, in fact, you are at a place where you feel as though you need to make a major change in your life. To save your life. And a lot of people go against this. A lot of people don't recommend this. But I'm just expressing what I do. It's just like a review. We only express our experience. We only express what we went through. We only express how it happened with us. And that's what I'm going to be doing, and that's what I'm doing now. If you go to Mexico, yes, if you go to Mexico, I can hear the gasp. <laughs> if you go to Mexico, you'll actually, as a cash parent customer or patient, you'll actually get it at a great discount versus the United States. Where in the United States, it's about 18 grand. You can get it in Mexico for about seven grand, okay? Now, before we go in too far into this, let me explain to you that a lot of people do this and they just don't discuss it. A lot of people have had the surgery a lot of people don't tell you where they've had the surgery. 
a lot of people lie about where they've had the surgery because they don't want the black backlash that comes from people always voicing their opinions when it's not necessary or always shoving what they believe or their perceptions down your throat when it doesn't in fact change anything because if somebody wants to do something they're going to do it whether you say you, sh you wouldn't recommend it whether you say you don't like that whether you say oh I heard this or heard that they're still going to do it so it's kind of pointless to even really get into it but to avoid that a lot of people either lie about it don't mention it and just have weight loss all of a sudden and then you don't know what it came from or either they um, they tell you that they had it in the states but a lot of people do this and I know for a fact a lot of people do this because I've spoke with the doctors personally myself um, so I decided to have the surgery in Mexico and when I say I am blessed I am truly in every sense of the word blessed truly blessed because I actually was presented with an opportunity to get it even cheaper than that to get it at a discounted rate and although I do have to still pay thousands of dollars I don't have to pay the seven or eight grand that they actually require of many um, and it is that price because even though they advertise for a certain price when you have a higher BMI they charge you more money okay so for my BMI it would have been much higher the amount than the amount that is quoted on the advertised price so um, I was presented with the doctor um, I was handled with by a, a wonderful coordinator by the name of Miss Sandy um, for the past few months we've talked back and forth um, he even is he's arranging his schedule for me um, as for right now the scheduled um, surgery date is December the 10th of this year yes and being that it's right now September the 14th we don't have much time we don't have much time um, so I am excited you guys um, I do understand that not everybody is going to agree with this um, in fact let's be honest nobody not everybody agreed with when I went on a weight loss journey or when I went on Atkins or when I was a vegetarian or when I uh, just decided to cut back on calories or it, nobody agreed with any of that either so I don't expect people to agree um, what I do expect is the same thing I gave I give to you which is respect which is um, you know I, I don't try to push anything on anyone um, if I don't have anything nice to say I don't say anything at all I just ask for the same thing um, and if you find that you cannot um, encourage and uplift another sister uh, for that is what we should be doing for one another and that's what we usually do here that's what we're about then um, if you can't do that then you really don't have a home here um, so I'm excited I hope you guys are excited because this is going to be life-changing for me and I am opening myself up um, I'm opening my, myself up to being vulnerable in a sense um, even now because I could have just had the surgery you guys I could have had the surgery and told you guys I went on a weight loss journey that I was watching my calories and my carbs and I was exercising and I could have did that and y'all seen weight melting off of me and I said that oh, it was because I was watching my calories and doing some exercise I could have did that I could have and you would have never known but that does not coincide with who I am um, I share things with purpose on here I share things because I know that it's somebody else out there that only have about seven grand and they're afraid to go to Mexico they're afraid because of we as Americans think that we are the only ones that's educated for some reason um, we have this ignorance and prejudice about us that we're the only ones that's educated we're the only ones that are efficient we're the only ones and the only country that um, 
can do something and do it right. We're the only ones like we're 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 so high up that we believe that no other people or no other country uh, or no other areas can do something and do it right, just like we can. So um, I know that there are people out there that believe that they have no way out. Believe that these diets, these weight loss journeys, even these lifestyles that people say that they are on or people see others on, even these lifestyle changes, it's not working for you. It's not getting you to where you want to be. It's not making you be able to run with your children. It's not making you be able to explore and experience life. It's hindering you. It's stopping you. And I know I'm not the only one out there. So rather than get on here and say something that's not true, or rather than get on here and be afraid to show and to share the truth and be afraid to tell you guys that, hey, you know what? I needed help. And yep, I went to Mexico and I had the lap band surgery. I'm not going to be afraid of it. I'm not going to be afraid of the negativity that I know is going to come. I'm not going to live in fear about the digs. I'm not going to live in fear about the, the silliness, the cattiness. I'm not going to be af afraid of the, the childlike behavior that can come from it. I'm not going to be afraid of any of that. I'm not. I know that adult women can sometimes be like that. I just know that I'm not going to be like that. And I'm going to continue to walk out on faith and walk out on the blessings that God has set before me because that is why he blesses me. And I'm not going to bless my I'm not going to block my blessings by stooping to any levels to respond. I'm not going to block my blessings by being anything other than who I am, which is a child of God. I'm not going to bless block my blessings by by living a way that he has deemed unpleasing. I'm not perfect. Never have said I am. Never will I say I am. But I do live my life a certain way. And I do have a personal relationship with Christ. And I do believe that this surgery is part of my testimony. And whenever there's a testimony... You will hear me shouting from the mountaintops, telling you of it. So um, that's why, that's why I have decided to be honest and tell you guys what I'm about to embark on. And not just tell you, but actually take you with me. So you guys will actually be going to the airport with us, us meaning Daddy and I. You guys will be... When I am about to be wheeled into the surgery, you guys will be there. Um, as far as filming some of the surgery, I may even do that. Um, yeah. So, and I actually have um, some great opportunities to be working with the doctor um, as far as advertising. It's a lot of things that's going to be going on, you guys. Um, and all I can say is I am truly, truly blessed. I am truly blessed. And I thank God for all the blessings that he has continued to give me, my family. Um, and I don't take them for granted at all, whatsoever. Um, I just don't want to die. That's what it boils down to. I am happy. I, am, I have joy in my spirit and in my heart. I think that that shows, even without me speaking. I am blessed with so much. And I'm not talking about financial things at all. I'm not worrying about that. I'm talking about things that last a lifetime. Things that when I go to sleep at night, I don't have to worry. Things that I don't have to be afraid of. I don't have to walk in fear. Um, I am blessed. And I know I'm blessed. And I'm blessed with the things that matter to me. Um... I just am at a weight where I know that I can go to sleep at night. 
and my husband may roll over in the morning and feel me cold. And that is what I don't want. And yeah, some may say, well, pull away from the table. Some may say, well, exercise more. Some ignorant people may even say, well, if you, you know, get out that bed and go run around your block a couple of times, then all I know is that I've battled this all of my life and I need extra tools. And I plan on getting that by any means necessary. So, no one else has to live their life like this that says those things. No one has to, if they are dozing off during the daytime to sleep. And they jerk up because they are afraid that they're slipping away. That unconscious fear of dying is so embedded in me that I'm afraid to go to sleep during the daytime or doze off. No one has to know how your body physically aches and pains when you're walking long distances. No one has to know how your back cramps up and spasms when you walk long distances. No one knows how it feels to mentally want to run, but your physical body can't do what your mind wants to do. It can't connect. And until you know what that feels like, until you get to the point where you still have a three-year-old son to raise, and you know that you have never seen, th you haven't seen that many obese old people, super obese, super morbidly obese. How many old people have you seen that was super morbidly, morbidly obese? Ask yourself that question. Ask yourself that question. And then the answer is, you haven't. And wonder why. That's because they don't live long enough to Mommy. be considered old, superly obese people. So, until you get to that point, and until you want to fight whatever way you can to live, Truthfully, really anybody, nobody has anything to say about it. All I can tell you is that I'm going to fight with everything I have in me to continue to be a mother to my children, to continue to be a wife to my husband, to continue to care for my mother who is also ill and who is also aging. I will fight and use any and every tool I can every tool I can to continue to live, to be there, not only for them, but to also serve God's purpose for my life. And also continue to be here for me. So I will give you more information as time goes by, you guys. I do have to embark on um, some new changes because they do recommend for my liver, liver to, be, to shrink they recommend for me to go on a weight loss journey, um, and I am doing so soon. I will be letting you guys know about that in the next couple of days. Um, as you're probably looking at this video, I'm probably on it now, and that's probably why you get in videos like some videos that I do. I'll put it out, but it's not from that day, maybe from days ago, because I am trying to stay focused. Um, as far as paying for my surgery, um, I told you guys this a long, long time ago, and I'll probably link this vi that, that, that video to this too. People that have been with me for a long time, y'all already know this, but 
my cookbook was supposed to come out May of this year. Um, as you all know, I do have a published cookbook coming out. And that is still coming out, as I've always promised you guys. I'm not going to get on here and tell you that something's going to come out and it's not. I'm not going to get on here and tell you I have things in the works and then months later you see nothing. Um, when I told you I was going to open up a store, I opened up a store. When I told you I was going to be selling certain amount of things, I did that. Um, when I told you I was going on this cruise, I did that. So I'm not going to get on here and tell you I'm about to embark on something or tell you that um, I have some things in the works and I don't come through with it. You never hear about it or you never see the results of that. Um, so I do have a cookbook coming out. And I originally told you guys that my cookbook, I told you guys this over a year ago, my cookbook was to pay for my surgery. It was kind of like kicking fat in the butt, so to speak. Um, the very thing that, you know, I use in excess. Um, and over eight on <laughs> is going to pay for my surgery. So it was like um, my own little personal um, challenge um, and my own little personal defeating it. Um, so I've always said that my cookbook was going to pay for my surgery. Um, that's nothing new. And again, the video will be below. Um, I have to go through it and find it. But pe people that's been riding with me long enough know. Y'all know I'm not lying when I say that. Um, but not only the cookbook is going to pay for my surgery, and that will be out before the holidays, um, but also when I reopen my store, um, that money will be going towards my surgery as well. Because not only do I have to pay thousands for my surgery, but I also have to pay for airfare. Um, they're probably going to make me have to pay for double tickets. All of those things, some, some extra expenses that come along with it. So, um, it's not, you know, a charity or anything like that. Um, I am going to be uh, just continuing to sell my items like I've always done. You guys bought it before. Uh, I'm just telling you guys what I'm going to be using those funds for. Uh, for instance, my cookbook. You're getting a great cookbook. Um, a cookbook with a lot of recipes that A, I've came across um, years and years and years. Been using them um, since I've been like 20 years old. Um, or B, they came from my grandmother, Nana. Um, and she is, long, you know, gone. Um, she passed many, many years ago. Nene was a baby. Uh, I think she was about one years old. So she passed about 15, 16 years ago. But I still have her recipes. Um, I still have the peach cobbler recipe. I still have her uh, greens with smoked ham hocks and neck bones. And I have all those recipes. Um, her cabbage and bacon and all of that kind of stuff. Um, pork chops and yeah, you'll see all that. Um, but yeah, so that you're going to get a great cook cookbook. But know that those the funds for that cookbook is going to go towards helping me save my life. So um, that's the great thing about it. Um, the cookbook will be a limited edition because I do have um, two other books coming out. One, surprisingly, you guys did not know about is not a cookbook. But um, it's actually a story, and Chuck is in on it as well. So that's actually going to be written and co-written by Kiana and Chuck. So you guys did not know about that, so that's fresh off the press right there. But um, yeah, so we have a lot to do, you guys. We have a lot to embark on. I know this is a long video. It's been almost 40 minutes, 35 minutes almost. But I wanted to fill you guys in, and I wasn't worrying about time as much as I'm worrying about um, filling you guys in and what you'll be expecting and uh, what you should expect. As for giving you the doctor's name and information, I will be doing that. Not on this video, but I will be doing that um, as well as uh, giving you the uh, his information if you want to contact him. Um, also, what else I want to discuss? Oh, also the weight loss journey that I'm about to embark on, I will be sharing that with you guys as well. Um, just not on this video. I will do a separate video with that because I do have some tools to use with that as well. And I'm just going to go ahead and express that to y'all as well. So I'll do a video probably within the next, say, five or six days with that. Um, but anything that goes on, um, I will be sharing it with you guys. 
um, what I'm about to embark on, I will be sharing it with you guys. I ask you guys to hold me up in prayer, and I ask you guys for your true support, your true love, and your true encouragement. Um, I ask that uh, you guys show me respect as I show you, and um, and no 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 devil in hell and nor any of his workers or any of his witches that roll up and down YouTube are going to stop me, are going to uh, to uh, throw salt in my game. Um, I do know that when you are walking out on your blessings, it makes the devil mad. And um, that's when definitely he, he attacks. So uh, I do know that, but I'm ready. I'm ready because he's ready. And... Um, I thank you all so much for for truly um, listening to me, for for uh, trying to understand me, even when sometimes you don't. Um, I thank you all for truly being my family and truly caring about me, because it's a lot of you guys that actually do care about me, and I know that. And that's one of the reasons why, um, at first, I was a little hesitant. I even told the people that um, I already revealed a few months ago that I was a little hesitant about telling you guys this because I didn't want you guys to worry. Um, the people that are negative and naysayers, I'm not worrying about too much about y'all, being honest. But the, it is people that really do care about me, genuinely. And those are the people I do worry about. And I don't want nobody sitting worrying about me. Um, you know, I just don't want to. I... I it's like almost like even though I'm I'm younger than some of you guys, I'm like um, almost like the mother bear. And I don't want uh, people that care about me and love me to sit and worry. So, you know, it's like we play play it cool. When the kids come in the room, if we cry, we suck it up, you know, and put that face on until they turn around again. And that's when we start crying again. So um, I just didn't want you guys to have to worry. That's all. Um, but... Um, just know that I'm okay, you guys. Know that I'm okay. Know that I'm going to be okay. Know that I've researched it over and over and over again. Trust me, Daddy is the worst, okay? So we researched it over and over again. I prayed on it for months because this is not new to a lot of you guys. So you know that I, I really did research and pray on this for months. Um, but... Um, I know that this is what God is telling me to do. And this is his tool that he's using through people to save my life. And you guys are a part of that, whether you realize it or not. You guys are a part of that. And I am forever, forever grateful for that. Um, people buying from my store, people that's going to be buying the cookbooks, you are contributing to saving my life. You are contributing to saving my life. You're contributing to giving my kids a mother that they maybe never had before. you contributing to giving my husband a wife that he's never had before. You're contributing to giving me the Kiana that's always been inside. That struggled to get out and could never find her way. You guys are contributing to that. How can I not be grateful to you? How can I not honor you guys for that? How can I not respect you guys for that? How can I take you guys for granted? I won't. I don't and I won't. So right here and now, I just sit and I thank you guys. I thank you guys, whether it's your words of encouragement, whether it's your prayers, whether it's your purchases from my store, whether it's purchasing the cookbook. I thank you guys for that. I thank you guys for that. And I thank you guys in advance. I thank you guys in advance. And I thank you all for loving me as I love you. On that note, you guys, I love you all so much. I will talk to you guys later. Again, there will be more videos telling you details, even more than what I just now revealed. Sorry about the 40-minute time, you guys. But as you can see, it was a lot that needed to be said, a lot that's never been said. And I thank you for bearing with me. On that note, you guys, I love you all. Be blessed.